Yeah, I mean, I gotta see if I can get some water or something too, but. Oh, no, that's all right, man. I don't even know if I've even got something crazy going on. Don't wait one. I don't know. Got a weird, weird cough going on. Probably just dry us, but we're going in straight into winner's finals here. Palatina Mega Man. Honestly, this matchup doesn't on paper seems uh, seems very much like in Palatina's favor. But of course, you know, not having a lot of not having a lot of options uh, out of shield against zoners in this game. There's no power shielding. Uh, just, I don't know. It's, it's it's tough to say. I feel like Mega Man still has that ability to just wall out Palut. He does. Um, it just kind of takes a lot, and I feel like Palu sort of has to accept it if he's gonna, she's gonna get walled out because she does have a reflect. She does. She's got way more consistent kill options, though. I think that's the part that's kind of scary. Yeah, that's the part that's scary. She could be far or close. And definitely has that ability to go off stage, get those edge guards. Zenodo definitely not afraid of doing that. Back here, yep. But I have to respect Smasher going with the Mega Man anyway, knowing this matchup was inevitable. I think he really wants to try to press it through and really wants to flesh out this matchup. I don't think he's convinced it should be Palutena all the way. Hey man, I mean, we've seen, they look, that, that Duck Hunt Mega Man matchup looked impossible after game one. And here he was, you know, making adjustments and pulling through, even after an SD. Oh, they're not going to trap him. Zenodo with that falling there is just so good. Covering the ledge. Looking for back airs, trying to get that stock off. Dash deck, yep. Not really sure what the options are going to be here for Zenodo to get the stock. I feel like he probably just fished for an aerial. All yeah. right, there you yep. go. Nair actually going to kill at that, that off stage. Or not off stage, sorry, just off the platform. Oh, wow. Not okay, take good it. DI. I feel like he was close enough to stage, it could have killed him. Oh. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. A little tricky movement there. Zoro. Yeah. Zenodo pushing him all the way to the other side. He's like, you're not killing me yet. I still got more <laughs> percentage to build. The boy's kind of like that pummel from Mega Man. It's like, let me just like shake my hand vigorously. Yeah. He's kind of squeeze, stress <laughs> ball. Yeah. He usually has a stress ball. Ooh, that pressure. I'm liking that pressure with the leech shield and pellets. Oh, and the up air, gonna take Very it. expected. But uh, I feel like he should be more in Palu's face with those pellets. Yeah, Palu doesn't really have a lot of very quick out of shield yeah. options. Because that's one of the things that even if she reflects it, okay, you reflected one lemon. <laughs> so Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of how you treat Mega Man in general, though. You, you, when Mega Man's shooting lemons, you kind of just run through them. It's like when life, it's like when Smash gives you lemons, you kind of just walk right through them, I guess. Or you, or you reflect them back. It, it doesn't really matter. They're not like it did too much. It's kind of like Fox Lasers. Just let them happen. But you got to play that neutral through there, and you can't Ooh, let it get in your head. And there it is again. The Leaf Shield coming out to put the pressure when he's up close. You have to respect the Leaf Shield. And there it is again. You have to shield it. Supposed to be coming out. Not going to get that stock though. Nair, though. Oh, Zenodo wants to eat that stock. Thinking about going deep, but he didn't get the positioning he wanted. Yeah, and there's that mix-up, though. Look at him like he's going to go off the edge guards. Yeah. Stays back for Explosive Flame. Oof. Oh, he, he almost had a kill. I mean, a uh, setup off that Metal Blade, but uh, Down tilt? he kind of retreated from it. And Zenodo is just trying to get him stressing on the ledge. Keep Almost him guessing. Shield, mm. wow, wow, drops a shield on Nair, but still living with that DI. Makes you wonder if some of those are supposed to be parries. Right. <laughs> really hard to say. Hmm. Both I mean, both players really struggling to get the stock off here. Are Look, at these percentages, don't fish for forward smash, Smasher. You'll get reflected and killed. <laughs> don't. Yeah, please. You, you really got to respect the play. Oh, oh wow. DBZ. Beautiful chair. <laughs> oh, my God. I love trades like that. <laughs> and we are just dead even. Smasher really trying to say, no, I don't care about the matchup. There. Up air, oh, okay. there, another up one. Air? Yep, up air again? He's going to keep pushing for it, too. 
You can really tell both players definitely slowed down the pace of this match. The first stock, relatively quick. That second one took yeah. quite a while. They were taking their time. Both players playing really safe now. The up is coming out. Smasher. Ooh. There's that up smash. Oh, look oh. for the show. You can okay. take it off. It was okay, Trey. Oh, okay, now, Smasher, you got to pay attention. Oh, no. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what? Is that how we're going to end this? Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> All right, that's that's what we call dropping the spaghetti. You know, it, it oh, happens. Kyle's still happens. having those teleport issues. You, you spill the spaghetti sometimes. It just... Zenodo's really bringing back that percentage, keeping that stage control. But that just shows that... Um, game one is going to be the only match that easy, pretty much. These next games are going to be neck to neck, man. I'm telling you. Zenodo, he's like that player that will always mess up at least once in a set. He'll SD somewhere, whether game two or three, but here it is. And here we are, game two on Battlefield of your winner's finals. All right, here. we got Zenodo trying to maintain the stage control. Now we're doing a decent job at 66%. I don't even know if I even need to say the percent. Like it, when, it, when it says 70, you know it says like 79 here? Yeah. Point zero. Do we really need to say that? Like, is that what people expect that? Like, oh, I don't like, know. I'm never going to pay attention to the right? decimals. No, ever. It's like, oh man, he puts up that quick 16.9%. 91.2%. Like, oh, oh, I don't know if it matters. <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, it was in Smash 4. It just never really Yeah, it, it just it didn't show. It That's show. all. Yeah, yeah. It's just Sakurai's like, eh, I guess I'll show you guys the little bit it actually does. Yeah, people are just gonna people are just gonna mod it anyways. Somebody right. <laughs> one hundred two point four. Right here. Uh oh. Let's I'm hope he doesn't get one hundred two point five. Oh shoot. About about point five more percent. And right. I think Mega Man's <laughs> about to lose his stock in the back air. Oh no, back throw. Okay. Wow. Okay, Zenodo is just really being dominant on stage. Smasher. Okay, finally get, catching his grounds. Yeah, I think it's a good counter pick for Palu. Uh, oh, Battlefield yeah. definitely would have rested age. Look, platforms, Mega Man never. Will. Oh! You didn't even get a chance to tech that. Yeah, he, oh, oh, he just keeps going that way. He's like, you don't even have to worry about teching, boy. I'm going to send you this way. Let's blame not. Look him take that Oh, dash, dash attack is just nasty. You cannot. Oh! Oh! Alright, that was sick. All wow! Right. You're kind of nice, Smasher. <laughs> yeah, he dropped him down with You're the back nice. air, clipped him. <laughs> yeah. That, that, Zenodo that, definitely stuttered there. Looked like a young link combo with those first hit back air things. Alright, but Zone, he's like, nope, this is not it. We're still going in. Back air? I think that might have actually been an opportunity for down air. Uh, I'm not, I, I've seen that a few times from Joe. Uh, you, hit, you hit back air, ledge, run, down, run yeah. off down air. I think that might be a thing. Ooh, getting the rush combos. Ooh. Didn't get anything off it, though. Okay. There. Back here, yep. Ooh. Yeah, Zenodo just pushing himself on Mega Man. He's like, I don't care about my explosive flame. I got this shield and staff. I'm gonna smack you with it. Yeah, I really like him when I've seen him with from Zenodo Palu so far. It's definitely that character I was expecting to see him play it sooner oh, yeah. or later. So if flame, Ooh, not gonna take it. Caught him with it. Probably another one. You know, scary thing is Zenodo used Palu in Smash 4 when she was booty. So, <laughs> yeah, she wasn't she wasn't that great in that game. She did. Hey, she did take a set off zero though. That yeah, that's true. That's very. She true. is one of the characters that took a set off zero. I will say that. I mean, he had duck on it to take off set off zero. So, wait out the crash bomb, smart stuff. Up air, gonna take that stock. Yep. Wow. I'm surprised he didn't just like air dodge. It. I mean, oh. up, up air was pretty, uh, I mean, it was seemingly strong in Smash 4. Still has that same characteristic going Ooh, on now. That B reverse though. with the down B. Nair drags, yep. Fair. No, nope, not going to get it. Ooh, he really wanted that shorty. We'll get up. All right, Zenodo's well aware at this point. He's just going to start throwing those bears. Yes, oh, man. that was dangerous. Smasher desperately looking for the stock. You see him throw show you a couple times, thinking, yeah. looking to get that stock off. Oof! They're yeah. not really giving any ch chances for a stage strike. I'm surprised. Oh that. my goodness! And there it is. He finally got it. Yes, yeah, Smasher sees set win, you know, in his grasp. 
I, I can't blame him for really wanting to close it out. He just needs one more game, but I, Zenodo's not going to make it easy. Zenodo's like, nah, I shouldn't have uh, lost last game. So uh, don't get too cozy. Yeah, anything can happen in this game, man. Oh, good Very parry wild. there, but uh, no punish. Okay. Get some chip damage. Ooh. Yeah, it's too easy to clip him on the platform. Oh, and that down tilt just extending off the ledge. Yeah, Shaq. Wow. Okay. One more of those, he's dead. Yep. Yeah, Shaq. There it is. Yep. I'm gonna take that. That will be that stock game to you. I'm surprised you didn't see the. It's kind of weird how sometimes it throws that like critical hit, like zoom in. Right. Back, right. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't. Right. So it's kind of interesting to see that. All right, so we are going to game three. I'm really interested how they coded that in the game, like when they have it, you know, do that flash, like when um, it detects a certain velocity, or probably just if it, probably just if you, uh, if you trigger sparks or red lightning, if you trigger it on the last stock, I'll just do it every time, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. It's hard to say. Well, then I guess I wonder how it triggers the lightning bolt. Who knows, man? It's, it's a. Uh, so we're going to game three with this one. Um, I see Smasher banning Battlefield because that's yep. just gross for him. Uh, probably also banning, I want to say, WarioWare. Well, I mean, I have no idea what... Because Zenodo did pick WarioWare at one point, didn't he? I'm not sure. I, I feel like... I, haven't, I don't think we've seen Zenodo pick that stage yet. It's just, I, I don't know what Smasher's bans would have been from game one. Well, either and way, this is like two, last week. Yeah, I, I don't see Smasher taking Palu anywhere with platforms. That's kind of expected for yeah. Town City here. A pretty o wide open area. Uh, gives Mega Man a lot of space to wall out. Ooh, Town and City. Um, I want to say this one is good for Mega Man because they're not like in the way type platforms. They're sort of like, oh, they're here to help me mix up my air game type platforms. Oh. Him oh, over. but Zenodo's like, uh, this is my stage. Get off. Yeah, it's very characteristic of, Z of Zenodo. Oh, that's, yep, that's a punish. Oh, right. my yep. gosh. Yep. Big time punish. Yep. That was coming. Very characteristic of Zenodo as a player, though. I mean, with Diddy, he got, I mean, Diddy's biggest, big thing about Diddy was reading with get-up options, right? Right. Wow, what was that, three nares? Yeah, it was a ra well, it was a rar nair. I think he was looking to get to keep the train going, but didn't quite, I don't know, it's kind of stalled out. Ooh. Okay. That was a good standing back here. Here we are back in neutral again. Oh, is he going to steal the metal plate? No, it's already gone. You know, I guess say one thing about Zenodo's Palu I've noticed compared to other Palus. You see a lot of Palus throw explosive flame out a lot. Oh, yeah. But that move is that move is punishable. Yeah. And Zenodo hasn't oh, been yeah. throwing it a whole lot. Unless, unless it's like a ledge get up or something like that. I haven't seen him throw it much at all. Right. Dash deck. Ooh. That was a safe drop. Back air, yep. Gonna go for the edge guard. Wow. Good spot. I mean, uh, air dodge. There it is. Oh, there it is. Wow. Yep. He's gonna confirm when he it. it. And I think, like you said, since he's not using it too much, Smasher sometimes forgets about it. And that's exactly what you want your opponent's mind to go. Yeah, keep your best. your options, yeah. Keep your best option, your best kill option in the pocket. Pull it out when you need it. Ooh. I mean, this is a tough situation for Smasher. I, I'm not sure what you're thinking at this point. Like, you, you know you need to get the stock off, but if you fish too much, uh, one nair from Pally is going to lead you to uh, probably up to 40%. That's, that's halfway to a stock. Fair coming through, beating fair. Mega Buster coming out. Gonna get punished for that. Ooh, ooh. Zenodo still holding that first stock. Got the most mileage off of it. It's at this point. I wanna say as long as Zenodo just keeps playing the way he does, this set is over. This yeah, is a repeat of last week. They they face off in winners finals. Zenodo dropped him in losers and then they rematch again in grand finals. Yeah, it's not looking too good for the super fighting robot right now. But you have to admit, the only person benefiting off of this matchup-wise is uh, Smasher. He's only learning more how to, you know, do better. 
while Zenodo is sort of just on a comfy platform from the start. Back there, gonna kill. Yep. Yep. That's definitely gonna kill. Oh, that was a good tech with the rush right under the platform. It sort of burns out your opponent's, uh, what do you call it, invincibility. In fact, on Battlefield, if you put Rush right on the top platform, that'll burn a lot. Oh, oh yep. reads it. Just got to back up just a little bit. Just, I mean, yeah. just a little bit. Out of range, get up attack. Straighten up smash. There it is. Yep. Kind of a, I mean, I don't know. Kind of a fun. Pretty much.